Is there a real estate crash coming? Eventually, yes. Where do you want to be when it happens? I want to be in Texas. Three reasons why. Let's get into it. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here. Three reasons I want to be in Texas if and when a crash comes to the real estate market. Number one, we survived the last one pretty well. 2008, 9, 10, depending on where you were, we had a nationwide, worldwide economic crisis. Most people will refer to that as the mortgage crisis or the financial crisis of 2008. And uh, the truth is Dallas-Fort Worth real estate prices fared relatively well. There was a few areas where if you really dig into the numbers, we saw some slight dips in property values, but for the most part, our market basically hit pause. It didn't really tank. It didn't really dive. It just kind of stalled and there was not a lot of appreciation. Yes, we had some foreclosures and short sales because some people were buying homes irresponsibly and then they had to sell them or they couldn't make their payments, but property values really didn't dive much. Um, even when banks turned around to put properties on the market, they generally held value, barely slipped or gained a little. And then we began to recover much quicker than a lot of the rest of the country. So if you fear something like that, just know even that we survived pretty well. I don't think there's any economics, economist or real estate commentators right now thinking that we're headed towards anything like that. But eventually something like that might happen. And the case is that in almost all historical real estate cycle downturns, Texas and specifically Dallas-Fort Worth have fared really, really well. Number two, overall, the cost of living in Texas is relatively low compared to the rest of the country, especially compared to what a lot of people would call a livability score or the overall value and benefit of living someplace. Great job market, generally low cost of living, generally relatively low cost of housing, lots of entertainment, healthcare, great academic system, uh, professional sports, you know, lots to do, incredibly diverse state, both, you know, geographically and culturally and all sorts of things going for us. Number three, and this is a big one, taxes. We do not have a state income tax and we don't have a lot of the bogus additional taxes that a lot of states have imposed uh, or abused their citizens with. Depending on how you look at that, you might not use the term abused. We're not big fans of a bunch of extra taxes here in Texas. We do have state uh, property taxes. And for a lot of people, that's kind of their accusation. Texas has really high property taxes, but the reality is relative to your overall tax burden in almost any other place in the country, your overall tax burden here in Texas is relatively low. And whether we like to admit it or not, what we get in return for those tax dollars is generally pretty good. We generally have pretty good state public education, healthcare, you know, police, fire, roads, things like that. It's not perfect. We don't have everything figured out here in Texas, but there's a reason businesses and families and individuals are moving here from all sorts of other parts of the country and the world. So if we're headed towards a market crash, real estate or worse, where do you want to be? I want to be in Texas. There's three reasons you should want to be here too. And there's a lot more where that came from. So check us out down in the comments. Let us know what else you'd like to know about. Maybe we'll make you another video. If you're thinking about making a move here, you can find our team, our residential real estate team online at overunderagent.com. The rest of our info is below, overunderagent.com. I'll talk to you on the next one.